After the first event, the JBL Cup has shown us how fast the teams can go. Now we have to see how accurately they can run as well. It's not as an individual, but as a team. Hello everyone and welcome to the JBL Cup Season 4. Event number 2, the Winter Balancing. The way this balancing event is different from the usual, but the goal is still, as always, to make it as far as you can. This time the balance beam is not just a wooden balance beam, but an ice balance beam. Made purely of ice, making the gap they have to go through much slippery, more slippery than usual. So teams might slip to the side more often than usual, but only time will tell. How well they will do. First up, the ice flows will give us a demonstration run of how this event will go. You can see here, the icy terrain might make it difficult to stay centered, but teams are going to try their hardest as the ice flows give us a good demonstration first run of 102.5. 30 is the maximum, 0 as always is the minimum. Let's see how they will do. First up, last place in the first event, the laser beam. Up first, and that is not a good showing. One finisher, yes, but the other three followed extremely early this will not give them a good score. 46.3 puts them, of course, at the moment in first, but we still have 15 runs to go, and I don't believe this is gonna hold for very long. Up next, the Maple Leaves, winners of the qualifiers, but have not shown up for the first event. Let's see. It's definitely better than what the laser beams have done, but how much better? Let's see here. A 67.1 obviously puts them in first place for now. The red teams have started us off. Let's see how the other teams will do. Silver Bullets. On the 14th last event, what do they have this time? The two-time podium finishers, but still yet to be the champions ever. We'll start us off with a 68.3, putting them right down the center so far. Currently second, out of three. As up next, the fourth place finishers from last season, the Wolves. Not enjoying a, enjoying a good first event love to improve here and well I do believe this is better than the laser beams but it's not better than the silver bullets 54.7 puts them in third still quite far behind and a lot of teams still yet to go as up next the Limax Axolotls and well that was just chaotic uh, altogether all of them pumping together, one I believe is still on the track, one making it all the way to the end and the others bumping around all together. And that is a 46.6 just about beating the laser beams, but that's all they've done. Fifth place. The bottom teams struggling so far, as up next, the Gamma Rays on to the track. And this is actually the first decent looking round before we do have a marble stuck on the balance beam, that's unusual. The ice beam is a slippery course, but you can also get stuck on it, apparently. And it's a 77.2, wait a minute, Gamma Rays take the lead! Gamma Rays have done enough to take the current lead in this event. As up next, the Cherry Clouds. What do they have? Taking their time, this is an interesting strategy, this is the first team to not have any finishers, but all of them have done well. Let's see if at least consistency will reward them uh, somewhat. 65.5 for the Cherry Clouds. Not bad, putting them in third. As up next, the Season 1 and Season 2 champions, the White Caps. Oh, to the track, oh that is an amazing run! Oh, what a run here from the White Cats! Is this a perfect run? This is debatable, we are now testing it. Is this actually perfect? No! One of them on the final beam, just a bit too much to the side, but still a 118.5 easily gives them the lead right now by over 40 points! Amazing job from the Gamma Rays is up next. The Streaming Serpent, also doing a good job, not as good of a job, but still a fantastic run here from the Serpents. 
I believe they have three finishers, one very close to the end, but not quite. That ends 111 flat. Give it very second. No, actually, they only have one finisher. Huh. Oh, well, that's still a good finish. As up next, the Banana Blasters. Onto the track. Everyone's still in, and everyone stays in. That is a perfect run from the Banana Blasters. A perfect 120 from the newcomers of this season. First ever appearance and a perfect record that will never be beaten again. Banana Blaster is already guaranteed first place. Well, unless we get a tie with someone else. What's up next? This guy see horses and we're back to the chaotic results. After three amazing runs in a row. Sky Seahorses bumping against one another, and that is the result of such situation. 46.9 only beats two teams so far. Not the result we would have wanted. As now we're entering close to the top teams. Only five remain, as the last season champions, Team Lemonade, are next. And that was just terrible. Absolutely nothing worked here. Nobody made it anywhere. And this is. Almost definitely last place for now. Yes, it is. 32.1. Far behind everyone else. Team Lemonade in last place. And Icicle Incredibles cheering happily. Both because they are going and because of their eternal rivals uh, flopping. And Icicle Incredibles another good run. Icicle Incredibles. Is this good enough for second? Definitely not a perfect, so it's not gonna be first. But is this better than the White Cups to get second place? No, no it is not. 117.5 gives them currently third place. But they will take it, that's still a good result. As up next, the Speed Star Skeletons with two finishers jumping over the finish line, but they still finish, so it's still gonna be a good score here for the Skeletons. Another team for the return since season one. A 75.5 gives them currently 6 and a guaranteed top half finish. A good job here for the Skeletons. Up next, Team Light. Never been good in balancing events and it seems this statistic will remain. This is not Team Light's type of event. They've never been good in balancing and this stays here with an 11th place right here. With only one team remaining, yet to go. The event one winners and current leaders in the standings. And of course, the season two hosts, the Knights of Night. Night what do they have for us? Well, it's not going to be first place, we know that much. Oh no, on the podium. And let's see, no finishers either. That's disappointing for them. A 57.6 for a 10th place finish. And that means that on the podium, a gold medal for Banana Blasters with White Caps taking the silver and Icicle Incredibles the bronze. This time we do manage to finish on the podium and all of them are new medalists. And Banana Blasters, their first medal in the main league. And not only this, it's a gold that also thinks this gold medal and a good finish in the last event shoots them up to first in the standings. Banana Blasters in their first season already captured first place overall. But can we keep it? Well, we're gonna have to wait and find out in the next event, the Snowboard Course. We hope to see you then, and as always, don't forget, keep on rolling.